you were to ask me what the most intriguing car might be, I'd probably have to say Maserati. It captivated me as a child, and the new range of Maseratis evoke emotion to this very day. Well, that brings us to the newest version of their track streetcar, the Gran Turismo MC Stradale. I'm Michelle Rayall with the Drive Channel and thedrivechannel.com. In 1914, the Maserati brothers did what all Italian techno geeks did. They built racing cars, and damn good ones. Maserati, like most of the Italian marks, built competition vehicles before they built road cars. They simply felt that competing came before simple transportation, and I'd have been right there with them. Unfortunately, the First and Second World Wars interrupted their ambitions, and they, just as the rest of the manufacturers, had to pick up the pieces post-1945. But they did, and they began to produce racing cars again, such as the 250F, which multiple world champion Juan Manuel Fangio drove to numerous victories. It's been said by many in the business that to make a small fortune in racing, start with a big one. How true. For Maserati, this ever-present state of impending bankruptcy brought on the production of road cars to keep the company alive, and we're glad they did. In 1963, it was the Mistral, which had a run from 1963 to 1970. Then the Ghibli, which made a claim for beauty from 1966 to 1973. These cars from Maserati went through the same hellish ownership transfers that many of the Italian coach builders did. From Citroen to De Damaso to Ferrari and then Fiat. And there's that Fiat name again. Unfortunately, some of the cars produced during those years were rolling Freddy Krueger level nightmares. As cool as the Citroen SM looked, it was like working on the Terminator. It had more hydraulics than a Hollywood plastic surgery center. And thank God it was short-lived. Also in that bunch was the Bi-Turbo. Hell to work on. But if you got it right, the little box would scream. Especially if you upped the boost, which of course I did. Then the Ferrari years brought Maserati back to life and some of the most beautiful cars they've ever produced arrived. The MC-12 was one. It was an Enzo Ferrari with a bigger body, a racing car for the street, and only 50 were produced for the street, and right now they probably fetch in the millions. Finally, the subject of our attention is the newest version of the Maserati Gran Turismo series. It's the MC Stradale. This is a car that Maserati once again had to create from its racing brother, the Trofeo, and they've created it into a no-nonsense version that fits into the category of a street racer or a track car. No matter. Nothing is taken away from its beauty or its performance. This car comes with a 4.7 liter V8 engine that produces around 450 to 475 horsepower and it utilizes the rear mounted transmission with a torque tube to stiffen both the drivetrain and the chassis. It works, especially coupled to the manual paddle shifting electro transmission. The times between shift and race mode are 60 milliseconds. It'll pin you to the seat and you'll feel it. The body's kept the Maserati look and the aerodynamics that we see in the Grand Touring models, but at a drastically reduced weight. You can order a roll cage and racing belts with this car, but it has enough manners to be driven comfortably on the street. Whatever the Trident comes up with next, let's hope it just makes it to the U.S. For the Drive Channel and thedrivechannel.com, I'm Michelle Rahal. Next episode, the Lotus Evora Enduro GT.